Good morning, Emmanuel. Stu Baker here. Um, I'm going to be carrying on our series of daily encouragements from the book of Romans and uh, chapter 8. We're looking at verses 20 to 25 this morning. Uh, So grab your Bibles. I'm just going to read them. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to corruption and obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now. And not only the creation, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit groan inwardly as we, as we wait eagerly for adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. These um, verses that they're big um, and they're weighty and, and they actually show that the Bible speaks directly into the reality of, of, of our, our situation and, and particularly um, the reality of the situation that we are all finding ourselves in right now the, the 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 darkness and the and the and the pain and suffering of the coronavirus and all of that 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 entails and it says that creation is is groaning that there is suffering and and pain everywhere in the world around us and and creation groans and and we also ourselves groan inwardly sometimes when we when we have to um, endure that kind of long dark night of the soul um, and there's a lot of that going around at the moment but but there is hope there is hope those groanings that suffering isn't the final word the suffering our world faces doesn't last forever and that's not just because when we we die we return to some sort of nothingness it's not just because everything ceases in fact uh, Paul the writer of this uh, letter of Romans says that for followers of Jesus our present sufferings um, are, are, and the pain that we go through in those present sufferings are more like the pains of childbirth. And, and just like the pains of childbirth lead to something beautiful, Paul is saying that what is coming for us as followers of Jesus is something that's amazing. He's saying that your faith in Jesus, and for those who have faith in Jesus, you have the first fruits of of the spirit which mean that you get to live your life with God every day but your true and certain hope is that you get to see him every day for all eternity perfectly face to face forever he's saying that if your faith is in Jesus you are officially adopted as a as a son or as a daughter right now this moment but your true and certain hope is that you get to be with your father in heaven forever in a perfect in your perfect redeemed body which does not grow old that does not get sick that does not suffer that does not die you get to be with him in your perfect redeemed body forever in this hope he is saying for in this hope we were saved in the middle of our inward groaning there is a hope that is secured for us by Jesus and what we we go through now can't even begin to compare to the to the weight of glory to the weight of the hope that is ours in Jesus and that that's what these verses are saying for us today and I hope that's an encouragement I'm just going to pray Father thank you for the encouragement of these verses thank you Lord God that we get to hold on to a, a true and certain hope in that through our that through our Lord Jesus Christ we get to um, we will be adopted as sons and daughters that we will get to live for all eternity in redeemed bodies with our Father in heaven and Father I know that you don't you don't see the the present darkness that we walk through lightly but Lord you you love us and and you won't let it go on forever and you have called us to a true and certain hope. And Lord, I pray, I pray for everyone who's listening to this video, I just pray that you would help us to live in the light of that hope. Lift our eyes to see the author of that hope and live in the good of that every single day and this day in particular. Amen. Amen. Hope you have a fantastic day. See you soon.